welcome to the first round of the Losers Bracket, also known as the Comeback Bracket. We have two very skilled runners today, Nerf and Magma. The winner of this match will move on to face Noah. I have not actually seen Magma run yet, so this is... Uh, first for me, and I'm actually I'm very excited for this. I've seen Nerf run. I watched Nerf's race last week, and I know that he's a very, very good runner. Obviously, a 32 is not something to scoff at, even a very high 32. Yeah, absolutely not. Honestly, all of the runners who are left in the tournament are extremely good. Uh, yeah, it's top 16 for a reason. We're pretty synced up, so that's good. Both of them getting the Venge Fly with absolutely no issues. Both going for leave RNG softball and neither getting it, which is unfortunate. Nerf leaving at 52 and Magma leaving at 53. Love to see it. Yeah, with early game, runners definitely have optimized it quite a bit. There's not too much variance between a good early game and a bad early game, at least as far as time goes. Mentally, however, having a good early game can make all the difference. Absolutely. Nerf getting Nerf and Magma both getting both clean mid drops. I always I always get hit by by either a tick tick or a random browser trying to do mid drops with them. It's good to see at least someone can do it consistently. Nerf getting the double spike kill, Magma not quite getting it, but still pretty strong clean up. Nerf taking a bit of a fall there into a gome, but still pushing forward, still ahead by a little. Yeah, that's one of those mistakes that really doesn't lose much time, but mentally it definitely hurts because you know it's like you should not have made that mistake. They happen, but it doesn't make that little voice in your brain shut up. Yeah. Oh, hello dog, are you joining me? We have a third commentator, my dog is in. And let's see how False Knight treats our runners. Ooh, very poorly. Two, two jump packs from both. Very poorly. False Knight not playing nice today. Consistent RNG between the two, so I mean... Look at that. So Nerf about two and a half seconds ahead, exiting the false night room.
Thank yeah. you, Rix, um, with our deltas. Rix, Rix in the chat. Legend, absolute legend. This is always one of my favorite segments of a run to watch. One because it's super chill, but also because of the because of the neat little tricks you get in there, like that double that uh, double wood break right there. Yeah. All right, let's see how the boulders are. Nerf got a three spit, and Magma got a two spit. So we are still extremely even coming out of mound. This is really what you want to see. Like on the latest patch, we only have to worry about one fireball for this boulder. And we. And Nerf nails it first try. Oh, Magma was so close on that. Yeah, just a hair early on that fireball. On the turnaround. Even then, missing that fireball is fireball skip is not a huge waste of time. Yeah. Time for our second fireball skip. Nerf game. With the two cleanly. fireball, nerf hitting. Magma also and hitting two fireball. On to the third. Nerf hitting it. We are four for six so far. Trying it one more time. Oh. Come on, Magma, you can do it. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's my first comms curse. I shouldn't have just said anything. You really shouldn't have. Welcome to the club. Clean Lost Knight kill from Nerf. And also from Magma. Magma. Now, I know Nerf does Moss Knights, but I do not know if Magma does, so this is a treat for me. I think most runners now do Moss Knights as it's just better. Yeah. Magma entering Moss Knights are on 2 HP. He needs to be a little careful. Gets good RNG on the Moss Knights, though. I don't think I've actually seen that particular method of cleaning up. Yeah, very clean. <laughs> Nerf starting the Hornet fight at like 7.28. And Magma starting at 7.38. Nerf with what looked like a super clean Hornet fight to me. It's always nice watching Hornet get bullied. Magma down to 1 HP, but okay. is completely fine. You really do love to see it, Rixian.
Good fungal drop room so far from Nerf. And not Nerf going nails to aesthetic it. slash. Which, honestly, I can respect that, nay. Yeah. Tournament match. Nerf just navigating fungal with expert precision. And a magma close behind him. Yeah. I've not actually seen that. I've seen that method before. Often. I've seen that really often in this tournament. Yeah, I've seen Fire Pogum more often than not. Where you dash through the sport. Yeah. But yeah, Magma was a very clean. Oh, and Nerf not getting the early control. Let's definitely see if Magma gets, gets it. Magma definitely getting a chance to make up some time. Did the Manus make it over? Yes, he did. Yep. And, and there's the early control. Yeah. Yeah, keeping this nice and tight. Yes. Um... As we head towards Grow's Mother Blue Lake. Magma making up eight seconds on that last split. Uh, what is it? They need six soul hits going into Grow's Mother? Yes. Yeah, four going into the stag is usually what runners aim for, and it's what they both have. I always hit that gen for twice. Yeah, I think Magma was actually trying to hit the Aspen, missed, and hit the gen for twice to back up. A little bit of a messy cleanup from Nerf. Let's see how Magma does. Just leaving one. Yep. <laughs> And cleans up a little better than Nerf did. Oh man, we are really not that far off from each other. Huh? No, not at all. Why is it called a Jennifer? I actually don't know the lore behind that. I think it, if I'm remembering correctly, Scurry just on a whim called it a Jennifer one time, and then it stuck. But I could be wrong. But Scurry is the first person I heard call, call it a Jennifer. So if it existed before, then I don't. I hope Magma's far enough to the right. Nerf getting a Ooh. fireball in the shade. Let's see about Magma. Magma shade not getting Magma a fireball. Magma was clean. And Nerf getting wall cling. Magma not getting it, opting to just go dash across. Which, doesn't that wall cling only save like 0.2 seconds? I actually don't know. Or is it 2 seconds? I feel like it's Does anyone in two chat know? Race is going extremely well, it is very close.
nerf Oh, they Trino, were the 1248. Even in Blue Lake and seven seconds apart out of Blue Lake. So yeah, it's probably wow. two seconds then. Because a lot of that time loss was from missing the setup. Yeah. That is Poggers Bismarck. That's what we all want to see here today. Nerf getting seer skip. Manila? Yes, he does. Also hits it. That is such a fun trick to watch. It's so goofy watching the knight just laying down, falling a hundred feet. It's Whoa. definitely pretty amusing. Nerf not getting the wall cling storage. Let's see about magma. Magma. Oh, magma got it. this one. Let's go. I think we're only, like, five seconds apart right now. Yeah. Three seconds according to our timer, Ricks. Thank you very much. What will we do without you, Ricks? Let's say, covering for our slacking. Uh-oh. Hold on, I need to go make sure my dog isn't about to destroy the cat. Exiting G Husk at 15.02. Looks like Magma had a bit of trouble with that. Or the Husk. But still only four seconds behind. Yeah, I caught a glimpse of that upslash as well. Alright, so I'm back to the to see. That's good. I did not catch a beat on that upslash. Was it a upslash dash under? I think so, yeah. Upslash dash under one of the enemies right after the elevator. That is such a precise trick. That's crazy that someone actually hit it in a race. Alright, let's see how watches go. Say, these runners make watchers look easy. It is, it's super crazy watching a really high level runner and a lower level runner and how they take care of watcher knights. As someone who has tried to fight watcher knights with this equipment and done it before a couple of times, it's very, very difficult. It is not easy. And especially, like, consistently getting it in one try, that's insane. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, Magma going down the one. Please? Okay. Oh, thank I think goodness. that was the last one. Magma ending all of these boss fights on one health. The risk taker.
giving us all the content we came to see. I was gonna say this mid play, but I decided not to. I feel like the last watcher, as soon as you get to it, it's pretty much a pushover. And like, there's nearly no risk of dying to it. As long as you don't get too greedy. Rick's time traveling. For runners to make it to the sly room in just over 17 minutes would be something. My pace and I'd have a shot. Look at the one second difference instead. So both of our runners are going to be going for rafters. Helma Delka. I think, if I remember correctly, Nerf tries right side. Yeah, then. Mm -hmm. I think Nerf went for it, but then just decided to bail. Yeah. Nerf Good idea. right between those two enemies. I think Magma hit it. Hit right side, actually. I could rewind the stream to watch that, I would. I agree, Rick. Yeah. These runners are both fantastic. Make sure you give them both a follow. Oh, Paul, Velmi Arkut. Boris Helmadelka. I think Oatmeal just confirmed in chat that Magma got that got right side. Yeah. These runners are both incredibly good. Also both runners getting the supposedly impossible jump. I know you can do it, but it always looks fake when it happens. <laughs> Rixie and Nerf is looking a lot better this this race than he than he did in the last one. Not to say his last his last race was bad by any means, but we are looking a lot better today. Oh, we actually have a loot change. Yeah. We've been within I didn't notice 10 that. seconds for, I think, the entire race. And we're over 20 minutes in. You gotta love the casual sly room in 20 minutes. Magma having a little bit of trouble with that room outside Crossroads Stag. Both getting wall point.
I'm right there with you, Ovil. Yeah. Let's see the pog axe. Ooh. Magma gets it. Nerf. Struggling a little okay. bit, but gets it in the end. <laughs> Magma not getting God Pixel, unfortunately. Neither does Nerf. Which is unsurprising given that it's quite literally a pixel perfect trick. So, for those of you who don't know what God Pixel is, it is that you can slide in between the laser that those crystal crawlers shoot and the crystal crawlers themselves. <clears throat> there is a one pixel window to do that. I'm excited to watch both these runners do this laser room. I love watching it every single race. Under plat. Clean under plat. Nerf Ooh. also getting a clean under plat. That scared me for a second. It scared me a little bit too. Although I think Nerf still had a decent amount of room. It just doesn't look like it. The hitbox is very deceiving on those. Both runners getting Sea Ash glitch, I think, which is unfortunate. Also unfortunate drop for Magma Bob. Nerf getting a much cleaner fall. Magma is still ahead. My yeah, goodness. Magma's ahead by about 10 seconds, I think. <laughs> Rick said they're doing it for the sink. That's true. Health is, health is a resource to be used and discarded. Magma coming into another boss fight on 2 HP. Ooh, I have not seen that waffling storage. Neither have I. Magma's gonna have to be careful. Taking yeah, taking heals. those safe heals. Yeah. You really, really do not want to die at Umu. You. Dying at Umu if you don't take the Archives bench is, I believe, the slowest Stop. death in the world. I didn't see that. Are both of them on track for a two-cycle? I don't know if either are. But I'm not super familiar with what both are. Magma on the very right side of that platform. Magma gets and it. Magma getting the two cycle. Oh. Nerf does not. And Magma does get the wall fling there. Yeah, and two extras from Nerf. Oh, 
And another cycle as well. Oh no. Nerf needs to keep his head. Does anyone know if Magma is on PB pace? All that is an unfortunate Umu drift. Oh no. Oh no, Nerf. Oh, I feel for you. My heart and hurts for you, And is that another Nerf. extra for Nerf, by the way? That is another extra. Four extras, five cycles. Oh Yikes. no. Did anyone, did anyone take a bet on five cycles? I know I sure wouldn't have. <laughs> Neither would I. Oh. Jackman said that this, he thinks it's a possible 32 for Magma. Ah, Magma is 9.6 behind PB. UGA. Failing it once, but got it in the end. Let's see how Wait. Magma does in QG and Deep Nest. Did Rix actually say four cycle? Yes, Rix did say four cycle. I didn't see that, that's funny. You were talking about the four attempts at Pog X and you know it. Hey, we're finally not doing the slice square anymore. Good job, Bricks. So let's see whether Magma tries to go for PB or whether he decides to play it safer since Ooh. this is a tournament match. Nerf gets QGA first try. I love the interaction between chat right now. So Magma roughly a minute and a half ahead. I think both runners cleanly getting the Queen's Garden's Hazard Warp. And Magma going for the cursed music through Beast Den. You love to see that. But we do get a quit out, I think. Even with all of that Umu RNG, Nerf is still just going headstrong. I love it. Yeah, and Magma taking that quit out as soon as he lands. No cursed music. Big sad. I'm getting fiend about skip. skip. And getting a little bit of soul while he's at it. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, that's an unfortunate combo. Is he going to try to heal here or is he just going to go right for it? Going right for it. Oh no. Oh, Magma, don't scare me like this. 
Magma is the master of 1 HP so far. Hey, Sylvie. We stand you, Sylvie. So, that's Magma finishing Hornet on 1 HP, finishing Watchers on 1 HP, and finishing Beast Down on 1 HP. This is the content we signed up for. This is what I'm here for. That and to commentate over Amazing Runners. Yep, 1 HP is all you need. And to quote King Wolfie on God. Hi, Gage. Hi, Gage. And let's all get our holidays in chat for Magma. As he stags back to Dirt Mouth. With good, with good THK RNG, I believe this is a PB for Magma, which is epic. Yeah, Nerf has been playing very well since that Umu fight. It was just that Umu hiccup. Nerf has definitely put himself in a position where if Magma takes a death here, Nerf could take it. I'm very interested to see if... Oh, Gidge, Nerf is behind because Umu is very, very un unhappy with him. Five cycle with four extras. Oh, come on, Magma. You don't have to do everything on one HP. Oh my god. That parry. Hollow Knight, please. That was... that was an insane parry, oh my goodness. And getting the fountain! That's the attack you want to see, if you're a speedrunner. Big damage to be had there. And a nerf entering THK right now. Getting, Getting the, stream the stream skip. skip. Oh my god. On one HP. Magma. Magma, don't do this to me. And finishes off THK. Oh, not not a PB, but still an incredible run. Yeah. GG, Magma. Yeah, get your GG's in chat for Magma. I think Sylvie said it's a 33-22. No, it's... 33-28. So now we can focus fire on Nerf. It was still having a very strong run. This looks like it's going to be 34.
getting us nurse audio. Shout out to Oatmeal. Oh, no. And screen scare. Yup. And that'll be all right. GGs. Just over 35. What is that? That's four bosses that Magma ended at 1 HP, or is it... Well... Beast End, you know. Yeah. 3501. Let's see if we can get our runners in for an interview. to both of our runners. Big GG. I don't think Nerf is one for interviews, but I don't know about Magnum. Nerf just hopped in waiting, so. Oh, all right. Hello, runners. Welcome GG runners. to both of you. GG's. Magma, excellent run. Also, scaring all of us with seemingly always one ending on one HP. Yeah, I. Orange wish one I HP. Didn't do that. <laughs> Watchers one HP. <laughs> Beast in one HP. THK one HP. And we did get a question in chat. For magma, did you have any gold to that run? Uh, lantern apparently golded. Oh, cool. I can't really see by how much, but that's cool. I include ILs in my gold too, so that's like real, real. So that's yeah, very clean rafters. Nerf, strong run apart from I Umu, golded which... Umu. <laughs> my best Umu. Umu fight ever. Umu was not nice to you at <laughs> all. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As I saw in the chat, someone say in the chat earlier, Umu is very unpoggers today. Yeah. I think that was Jackman. Yeah. Yeah. That was, uh, unfortunate. I don't think I've gotten to two-cycle this entire tournament, so I was really hoping I could finish out strong at least, but I guess not. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was the fourth cycle where Umu just drifted down, or maybe it was the third. I can't remember. I lost track of how many cycles there were. This is a loser's bracket. Or as Sylvie calls it, the comeback bracket. This is a question for both of you, but were either of you, like, nervous on any specific segment coming into the run, or were you both pretty level-headed? Um, I was just nervous I was gonna miss E-Pogo, and I did it super scuffed, but I still got it. <laughs> um, other than that, I wasn't really nervous for anything. I was nervous until, like after watcher nights basically and then i like clutched that out and it was a pretty decent fight so i was like okay i can actually play decent now <laughs> so i'm seeing a time. question from sylvie magma what was your pb at the start of the tournament yeah my, at the start i think my first round it was like a 35 27 i think and yeah, was that a pb at the time yeah, that was my PB then. So that's over two minutes of improvement ju over just the tournament. Yeah. That was pretty good. <laughs> that is yeah, extremely that is awesome. Impressive. A great source of motivation, I would say. <laughs> See, any other questions about the match? 
Oh. Yeah, we did like the upslash in the journal room from Magma. Yeah, that's a fun strat. I haven't timed if it's actually faster or anything, but... It's very swag. It is cool. And that's like half of what speedrunning is about, right? It's just looking cool while doing True. it. True. True. Well, I just want to say when our next matches are, we have three matches scheduled, one for Saturday at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern, and then two for Sunday, one of them is at 1.30 p.m. Eastern, and the other is at 3 p.m. Eastern. So I hope to see you all there. Yeah, it should be fun. We have uh, some really good matches coming up. Yes. And Magma, congratulations. You're going to be facing Noah in the next round. Yeah, GG's again. Very impressive. GG's, run. guys. And GG's. Nerf, but still very good run. Other than Umu, honestly, it was not a bad run. I would yeah. call that a decent run minus Umu. So I'm not I'm not too upset with my performance, I guess. Yeah. Like if Magma took a death in T wait in THK, it would have been very close. Yeah, possibly. Okay, cool. Uh yeah. Bye, everyone, I guess. <laughs> yes. And thank you all for tuning in, chat. And we will hopefully see you all on Saturday. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys.